Tornadoes can be big and damaging, but weather experts say the real danger is much smaller. Hail does far more damage than tornadoes do in the same area. Paul Schlotter is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. He says tornadoes on the eastern plains are common, so much so they've named the area. And this is the Denver Convergence Vorticity Zone. When you have converging air and it's unstable, which means there's enough moisture and enough lift in the atmosphere to get things going, that's when you can get uh, tornadoes and they, they'll typically form right along that boundary. According to the Colorado Climate Center, the DCVZ has also experienced rapid growth since the mid 90s, despite the risks. In the calm before the guaranteed storms, insurance agents say homeowners can prepare their properties. We all need to invest in making our homes just safer, more weather resistant, not weatherproof, but more survivable. Carol Walker is the executive director of the Rocky Mountain Insurance Association. She says given the growth out east, new and current homeowners may want to consider weather protection. To spend a little bit more money and invest in a fortified impact, hail resistant, wind resistant roof, that's what we really need to do at scale in Colorado. That's what's gonna make the big difference in all of us, whether you have a claim or not, spending less on insurance. But Walker says security shouldn't be skipped on. So you have to look at, am I saving in the short term or am I saving in the long term? Especially in areas where Colorado is known for its severe weather. If you move to an area east of I-25, anywhere in eastern Colorado, you should be aware of your risks of, of, of tornadoes. Walker says there is no standard fortified wind resistant roof in Colorado. This means contractors can opt for a cheaper roof for a lower cost. But again, what you save on the front end may cost you more in the end. Janelle Finch, 9 News.